right, some quick uh, behind the scenes content here. Trailer has successfully survived the launch. We didn't get hit by anything. It was flying away, except a lot of uh, wet mud. So still a little dirty and stuff like that. We were cleaning off the panels, so all we really care about is the panels are nice and clean. Honestly, I wonder if all the mud and dust on it provides a corrosion preventive barrier. Probably not, but you know, I can dream, can't I? But uh, so we were out here actually to check the angle on the solar panels. And there's like a really quick way that we use to calc to, to not even calculate, to check, like empirically check, I'm waving a stick at you, it's gonna be involved, uh, the correct angle of the solar panels. So as you know, there's the sun up there in the sky. There it is right there. And you may be aware that the sun sometimes casts shadows. You can see shadows down here, right? So what we want is for the solar panels to be perpendicular to the sun for maximum output. If the sun is striking the panels at too much of an angle, like this, then we don't get full power from the uh, sun. It can't harvest the full power from the sun, right? So what we want is we want the sun to be striking the panels at a 90 degree angle. And it changes over the course of the day because as you know, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west over that way, right? Hey Daniel, how's it going? All right. yeah, Daniel's in the video. Daniel's starting in a video. Um, but what we want is for the sun to be perpendicular. And as it moves across the sky, it's gonna start over there, like I said, in the east. Then it goes up in the morning and the shadows get, get shorter and then you get up to noon and the sun's all the way up there and then we go all the way down and the sun sets, right? So over the course of the day, the angle that the sun is striking the panels from this direction, we don't have a lot of control of. You have like tracking mounts and stuff like that. Those things would rust all to heck out here on the beach. So uh, we wouldn't have like a tracking mount that tries to aim the panels correctly at the sun. But what we can do is try to get the, sun, the, the panels at an optimal angle from this perspective. And we've set up the trailer so we have some adjustability, right? We've got these bolts. I love, now this is my like thing longer, like my pointing stick, right? So we can raise, if you see this slotted channel here, right? Slotted angle. Uh, we can raise both sides of the panel mounts independently to change the angle. Right now they're aiming this way because towards the south, we're in the northern hemisphere. So the sun's going to be southerly a little bit. And uh, we have the front of it down and we have the back of it raised up, right? So to change the angle of the panels in this direction, we raise the back, lower the front, or vice versa, right? So what we can do real quick to see how close we are to the optimal angle for the solar panels is use this stick, right? I may, I may need some help with this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film this, but if we, uh, here, hold that real quick. There we go. Thanks, Daniel. That's a camera operator as well, nice. Um, he can't actually see it because it's still in front camera mode, but that's fine. Uh, so if I take this stick, right, and swing around this way, there we go, um, and I put it at a 90 degree angle to the panel, so raise it up a little bit, uh, like higher, 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 and then point it down, there you go, perfect. Um, so if I do that, I can actually put this stick at a 90 degree angle perpendicular to the panel. If you have a square or something like that, you can put a square in, I don't care, I'm just going to look at it and try to make it, let's see it. You see how that's uh, pretty close to 90, right? So what you can do is when you've got the panels up like that, you can look at the shadow. Come around this way and point it down like this. And you see the shadow on my hand, right? So where I want that shadow to be is exactly in line with the panels here. So you can see it's a little bit behind it right now, like the, the shadow is actually behind it. And if I were to move that stick back, which would be lowering the panels this way, the shadow gets worse. You can see how the shadow is all the way back here now, right? And if I were to angle that stick in this direction, you see how the shadow moves forwards? Where'd my shadow go? There we go. You see how the shadow moves forwards? And when I get that shadow exactly in line with where the stick is on the panels, that means that I have the right angle relative to the sun, which is right about here. So if you swing around this way again, let's check the angle of this stick to the panels. And you can see it's, it's leaning forward just a little bit. So the solar panels could be tilted a little bit more up to get that optimal 90 degree angle with the sun. Let me check that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, right? Now, at solar noon or whatever, right, um, we're not really worried about the angle from this perspective. You see how if I move it uh, this way, like long and I guess front and forward and aft on the trailer, right? I can change that angle this way. And at the exact optimal time, this stick will have almost no shadow. So that's that. And I've moved it back. You can see, uh, there we go. If I put my hand around it, you can sort of see that there's almost no shadow because the sun is coming straight down this stick. 
But again, we're not trying to angle the panels this way because the sun moves across the sky and is constantly changing that, set, that angle. In fact, if we were to stay here long enough, eventually the sun would make that stick line up almost exactly as it moves across the sky, the sky going from east to west. Right? But what we could do here, because this, let's see here, this is 90 degrees and you can see that shadow a little bit back on my hand. We could raise the panels up to get a little bit more of an angle, but here's why we're not gonna do it. A, it's hot and we're tired. Um, that's probably the honest answer. But B, we're currently uh, in the winter going towards the spring, right? In the winter time, the sun is lower in the horizon. And in the summertime, the sun is higher in the horizon. So in the winter time, you need more angle to your panels to get that optimum angle towards the sun. And in the summertime, you want less angle on your panels so that the sun is more straight up, right? So as we march towards spring and summer here, the sun is going to move this way. It's actually going to move in the sky higher and higher. And so as that happens, the panels are going to become better and better aligned. So they're close enough right now. Like if the angle was something like this, I'd be like, dude, we really gotta go uh, do this before we go get lunch. Dr. Holly brought us lunch and she's at River right now. Um, but because we're already so close and we get that nice perpendicular thing here, and we look at, it's easier to see on my hand, and we're really sort of close on that, that shadow angle, we're just gonna ship it for now and call it a day. Um, anyways, this has been the field solar alignment with Dawson Daniel. Uh, we're here to work. That's why I look like a babushka with my hat and everything on. Also, I saw some comments in the video. Why is he wearing two glasses? Wait, PPE, eye protection, and sunglasses. Not eye protection. Well, UV eye protection, but not like eye ballistic eye protection, I guess. Right? He's just weird. I'm just weird. Yeah, whatever. Um, we need to. I've made it this far. I've made it 44 years, and I still got my eyes. I'd like to keep it that way. So we're going over to cut some C channel and stuff. This way, I'm not like, oh, where did I, where's my glasses at? I forgot. I just put them up there. You know something? Make fun of me in the YouTube comments. I don't care. I want to keep my eyes. So, anyways, uh, that, that, that the end. Just stop it now. It's, they've learned enough. <laughs> I hit the right button. I don't know. Let's nope. see. Wait, hang on. Hold up. Yeah, it's still recording. <laughs> anyways, y'all, thanks for the uh, thanks for all the support and stuff like that. I, I'm going to tap the appropriate button to stop the recording. So if you're wondering uh, what we actually got for lunch, we figured we'd add it to the end of the video real quickly uh, because I don't want to leave y'all hanging in suspense like next time on Starbase Not Quite Live. I don't know. Um, so, so for lunch, we actually ended up getting, uh, not Daniel, pizza. So pizza, you can see that it's already gone. It was pretty good. Dr. Holly brought it. Hi, Dr. Holly. Hey. How's it going? Thank you for bringing us pizza. <laughs> oh look, we got Starbase Live on in the background. Yep. Don't you have Starbase Live on in the background? Um, <laughs> but we came back over here. Uh, we have an RV at our river spot. We rented this for a week to support everybody that was out here during lunch. Dr. Holly brought us some pizza. Also, excellent merch there. Yeah. Rocking the NSF shirt. It's hard to even get our photographers to wear NSF shirt. She shows up. She's got a shirt on. So, uh, anyways. Oh, look at this. Daniel's got this. Uh oh. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I got the uh, heat tile gator, the sun gator on. I don't have a, I have a sun shirt on. I've asked for sun shirts because they got these hoods and stuff like that. But I've got my Starship heat tile neck gator sun gator thing on. So we're all wearing our merch correctly. And uh, <laughs> there's your Starbase update. Trailer edition. I don't know. Whatever. Bye. Bye.